good evening friends uh, this is shrikant from kotak securities and today again i am back with some new strategies on uh, technicals based on technicals we can follow those strategies and we can uh, make our uh, trading uh, business uh, more better so for the day and in this webinar we are going to cover chart patterns i hope you must be enjoying uh, our uh, webinars and um, based on that uh, you must have like uh, analyzed number of things so the new part is that we have started uploading our uh, uh, this uh, webinar videos on youtube please subscribe to that and you just go through with this webinar again and again because if you like follow same strategies again and again it will help you uh, in much better way uh, today the topic is of chart patterns and chart patterns is like we know all about uh this chart patterns uh the important part is that uh, how to use those chart patterns it is it, it's a crucial part because we know like cup and handle or head and shoulders symmetrical triangle flag pennants these are the formations which are like uh patterns and formations of the market but how to use them what are the tools that we can use uh, along with these patterns which will increase your uh, success ratio strike ratio while trading in the market so we'll just move on the ppt of uh, power of chart patterns and please give 100% of your please pay a lot of attention because these patterns are very common but at the same time how to use them is the important part on which we are going to discuss today so very first what is chart pattern chart patterns are used as either reversal or continuation signal so there are three main types of chart patterns which are currently used by technical analyst traditional chart patterns harmonic patterns and candlestick pattern chart patterns provide a framework to analyze the battle raging between bulls and bears so most of the time we see that there is like something which is like we can say formation either symmetrical or triangle or head and shoulder but it is nothing but consolidation or distribution and that like happens between bulls and bears so it gives us platform and some levels to understand that in which range this particular a uh, formation or pattern is like happening and uh, based on that like you can decide that about which level you can go long or short in this market so today we are going to cover traditional chart patterns and uh, it's a consolidation or distribution that we have to keep in mind uh, more importantly chart patterns and uh, chart patterns and technical analysis can help to uh determine who is winning in this particular battle uh, allowing traders and investors to position themselves accordingly <clears throat> what i mean to say is that based on these patterns you can take some positional trades or you can trade in that direction okay so that is why it is more more uh, it, it is like more important to understand and to always try to find out that in, in which pattern the market is or in which pattern uh the stock is so it is very important a uh, huge trend line see what is the crucial part the crucial part is that whenever there is a formation you just draw as many as possible trend lines uh then you try to uh, uh, like go on higher time frames uh, because all these higher time frames gives you more and better concrete results uh, while like uh, analyzing chart patterns a uh, closings on higher time frame i mean to say if you are like following daily patterns then just move on weekly if you are following weekly then move on monthly and try to see that whether you can see the same formation on higher time frame or not if you can see the same time frame on higher time frame then it is more useful for you to to take any uh, to take positional trade and uh, if like that particular stock it's closing uh below or above that particular chart uh, resistance or support i am to say on the completion of the pattern if the stock is closing above or below that important level 
uh, on weekly basis or on higher time frame basis then you can consider that particular breakout or breakdown as valid uh, pattern so that is why two things are very very important one is draw as many as possible trend lines because that gives you the direction of the train uh, and use higher time frames as well as uh, closing of those uh, time frames uh, to uh, validate the pattern and to design your positional trade so there are two types of uh, patterns one is a continuation pattern and another one is a reversal pattern we all know about continuation pattern because these patterns are uh, like uh, very common uh, on the street and you can like uh, 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 visualize them uh, very clearly uh, cup and handle uh, see out of this uh, continuation patterns uh, like there are several co continuation patterns cup with handle flag pennant price channels symmetrical triangle uh, ascending triangle descending triangle as well as rectangles but in all these continuation patterns what is important uh, what is difficult to notice is cup with handle so on that we are definitely going to discuss but i think other formations on which we uh, discuss in the past that flag pen and price channels symmetrical triangle ascending triangle so on that i'm not going to spend more time but certainly yes i'm going to cover a few lines on uh, these patterns also so these are very important patterns and what is what is the meaning of continuation pattern it means that if if market establishes any specific particular trend then to follow that particular trend we again uh, uh, need some patterns some formations to continue with that trend i'm to say to trade in that direction in the same direction and flag patterns especially helps a lot like if stocks are falling for example adag group which was like uh, into that downtrend you can just draw like few uh, lines and if you can notice any uh, flag or pennant sort of formation below that trend line you can go short and i think dhfl india bull housing finance uh, uh, these stocks have given reliance infra reliance capital they have given number of times such type of opportunity uh, to trade for but cup with handle is something which is unique to find out and very rarely we can uh, notice such formations but yes we can notice them on higher time frames i'm to say on weekly charts or on monthly charts okay great um <clears throat> reversal patterns so what are reversal patterns so there are like uh, again number of reversal patterns like falling wedge rising wedge so uh, the patterns which are in the red which i have highlighted with red color they are all very difficult to uh, uh, see on daily or weekly charts frequently but yes you can see double top reversal double bottom reversal triple top triple bottom reversal sort of formation very easily but to um, uh, to uh, see this uh, formations like falling wedge rising wedge head and shoulders top head and shoulders bottom and rounding bottom so it there like you have to uh, you will you will have to uh, move on the higher time frames and then only you can notice such uh, patterns so very first i am going to uh, cover uh, all uh, reversal patterns what is the meaning of reversal pattern reversal means change in trend so if you are like moving higher then after this formation we can expect reversal pattern i am going to say downward trend if we are going down if markets are going down then after specific formation we can expect reverse pattern i am to say reversal pattern on the opposite direction right so falling wedge you can very clearly notice that it's a falling wedge on hindalco and uh, the stock was down you can draw this trend lines i think what is important is trend line and after the cutting of this trend line we can see the way the stock has moved higher what is important is that along with this formation if we can add oscillator like rsi and if you see any positive divergence i am to say fall in the price and rise in 
readings of RSI. If that sort of formation is there, then you can bet on uh, such type of stocks with taking contra view of going long. Okay, so previous trend you can see it was just like falling trend. But in that falling trend, we saw some pause sort of activity and it started it started falling but it started falling with a very lesser degree and later on we saw a good price breakout by cutting the supply line so it's a classic formation and falling wage is always a bullish pattern bullish consolidation so and i have seen that you can notice these patterns on either on very high time frame or on lower time frame i'm to say on 15 minute charts or on 5 minute charts so you can notice these patterns. So these are like very uh, like uh, uh, fruitful patterns uh, or formations I can say and which are very powerful patterns because it gives you proper targets. So what is the target for this? So you can expect minimum the highest point of this particular formation as your target. So you can set your target by considering the highest point of this particular formation. Now the next one rising wage which is exactly opposite to falling wage and rising wage is again nothing but when there is like rise in price it started moving higher but it moves with lesser degree and if you consider RSI along with it and if there is a divergence in RSI then you can expect that the market can that this particular stock can fall or that particular index can start uh, reversing uh, its previous trend and on the dismissal of trend line, you can execute contra trade. So here you can see that uh, it's a chart of Adani ports and it was just like going up and up. After hitting the levels of 370, 380, it started uh, diverging negatively and later on it has broken its demand line at somewhere close to 320.25 and after that we saw steep decline in the stock. Okay, so head and shoulders again like you all are like familiar with head and shoulder and uh, I generally prefer uh, if like neckline is rising uh, if neckline is rising and uh, uh, stock or index breaks its uh, low, uh, neckline support area then it gives actually a more valid pattern or it gives more uh, it attracts more selling or unwinding of long positions. So generally, if there is a, a horizontal sort of line, then uh, that particular instrument remain volatile. But eventually we see that it comes down. So if there is a head and shoulder at the top of the particular uh, uh, trend of the stock, then certainly we can go short on that particular instrument. Uh, here we can see that uh, stock forms left shoulder, then head. And then later on we see right shoulder even on uh, nifty on daily basis uh, or on weekly basis uh, we can notice that nifty has formed left shoulder in the month of january 2018 by hitting the levels of 11,170. after that we saw steep correction to 99.50 levels later on we saw one more uh, rally in the market uh, up to 11,760, 780 levels. That was the uh, head for the market. Again, we saw gradual but uh, vertical decline in the market, uh, which has uh, taken support at 10,000 levels. And uh, some few days back, I'm to say some two, three days back only, we saw one more uptick in the market, which has uh, taken Nifty to the levels of 11,120. So what is important is that the previous lower high was 11,170 after that we saw 11,760 and now again there is a lower high at 11,120. So again it's a classic head and shoulder sort of formation and that is why market is like more cautious. Market is not moving higher is mainly because of this formation which is an indication of distribution. The neckline is around 10,000 levels so unless and uh, till the markets are about 10,000 levels uh, we can say that we are into that forming pattern okay so market is forming this pattern it has not validated to the formation but based on its overall structure 
people take advance call and they keep final stop loss at 11,000, let's say the highest point of the right shoulder, which is around 11,120. So with the same stop loss, uh, traders, those who are like experts or those who love to take contra call with the uh, with specific stop loss, uh, they, they trade short. So I think they must have taken a short call with the final stop loss at 11,120 and I think uh, they are they must be waiting for uh, further more decline uh, based on uh, daily formation 10,850 uh, 10,820 uh, was uh, the support of uh, uh, long term moving averages like 50 DMA 200 DMA and uh, that is why the market is like not falling uh, vertically below 10,000 uh, 900 levels but at the same time we are like very close to these important levels and in case if we see the market is sustaining below these levels uh, with the uh, and if if domestic queues turns negative then it will have a, a negative implication in the market so we have to like be careful but yes in the past also we saw such type of formation on nifty uh, which we covered in this uh, particular ppt so the current uh, this one is the a previous example of a head and shoulder pattern on nifty uh, so that is why like we, we always like uh, if we see any head and shoulder sort of formation on index then we have to be very very careful while taking any position in the market okay uh, so it's a head and shoulder at the top of the uh, trend of the uh, particular instrument again here you can see that it's a classic pattern of uh, head and shoulder on Cadilla healthcare in the past we saw uh, uh, a steep run up uh, towards 550 560 levels after that we saw some correction and later on after breaking neckline support uh, at uh, 450 uh, we saw gradual decline in the stock uh, as i discussed and uh, i like uh, uh, as i uh, always prefer uh, rising neckline uh, this is the best example of uh, head and shoulder because in this you can clearly notice that it's a rising neckline support and on the dismissal of rising neckline support, we saw uh, a, a sharp decline in the stock. At the same time, it hardly crosses neckline. So if you just go through with uh, several patterns, you will come to know that very rarely uh, stock moves back into the region of uh, shoulder and neckline area. So whenever there is a rising neckline, you just consider those particular patterns as very good patterns to trade short. It's a double top or double bottom sort of. So there is like one more concept of double top, double bottom and we all are familiar with this. So it is nothing but like sailing is emerging at same level again and again. And we, we always say that price knows a lot of things well in advance. So when the doctor ready was around 4500, 4600 levels, that time the stock had started forming double top sort of formation. So we, you have to be careful if there is any such type of formation. See, see formation takes time. Okay, you cannot see or cannot expect result on immediate basis. Okay, that's not possible. But yes, if there is a formation, if you see that the stock is forming similar sort of formation, then whenever like you are taking trade against the overall formation of the uh, stock i'm going to say in this particular case dr redding the stock is clearly forming double top formation if you and if you are taking uh, some long trades because of any reason then you have to be very very careful and strict with your stop losses that is very important so you can see that the stock has started forming this pattern from uh, july uh, till november and in the month of November and December, middle of, I think, November, December, we saw sharp decline in the stock. So here it's a best example of price knows a lot of things well in advance. So Dr. Eddy has formed some double top formation at 4,500 levels. And later on, we saw steep decline in the market. It is better to follow line charts on daily basis because for those who are like beginners, for them, it is very difficult to see such formations on bar charts or on candlesticks but on line charts they are very visible so always try to follow uh, means uh, the things on which we discuss that use trend lines uh, higher time frames along with that 
uh, I would suggest uh, to follow line charts to identify such patterns for on daily charts. It's a double bottom. Uh, it's a example of double bottom, and there also it's a classic uh, reversal formation. Uh, it's a formation on Nifty uh, of 2008-2009. Uh, when there was a steep decline in the market and market has spent almost um, uh, uh, six seven months uh, between the range of uh, between the range of 27 2800 and uh, 3000 later levels and later on we saw a smart rise uh, so it's a double bottom or maybe multiple bottom sort of formation here we have to follow trend lines and just draw trend line uh, somewhere um, in the middle of this particular uh, uh, consolidation and on the dismissal of that we can take long trade in the market if you are like not convinced with the uh, uh, theory of double bottom that okay the market may the stock may form lower bottom then in that case whenever you take contra trade of going short if there is a formation of double bottom then keep your stop losses uh, uh, I would say follow your stop losses strictly. It's a formation of rounding bottom. Yes, and it's a best example of rounding bottom because uh, this particular formation emerged on, uh, on Infosys and uh, after like consolidating between the range of 60 and 40 and 60, 40 and 80, for almost uh, uh, six seven months uh, we saw a breakout and later on we saw completion of the formation so if there is a rounding bottom so rounding bottom sort of formation then what you have to do is that you have to just draw trend line or horizontal support uh, on the consolidation area and on the dismissal of that consolidation area you can go long in the market along with the uh, uh, or you can and, and, and you can set your targets uh, at the highest price of that particular formation so if formation has started from this particular level from 180 uh, you can expect again 180 on the chart uh, in the future so that's the way like we calculate targets and we try to ride such patterns and we should try to ride such patterns that's the overall strategy and you can notice that it's a weekly chart of Infosys. So again, it's a higher time frame uh, that we have used. A uh, line chart is more visible. Uh, we have drawn these horizontal supports and on the dismissal of that, we have taken long call. The next one is cup with handle. And uh, here also like it's a reversal pattern because uh, see mostly what we see, we see that there is a restructuring uh, in that particular instrument and that restructuring takes a lot of time. Uh, see in this case of a particular uh, formation, it's a it's a price chart of uh, IFB Industries, IFB Industries and from 95 to almost uh, 2007, 2008, uh, stock was i'm going to say this particular company was into that restructuring consolidation mode and later on we saw uptick so initially whenever there is a cup with handle sort of formation first part of the consolidation is always of rounding bottom sort of formation later on we see one more decline and this particular decline always remains higher than the previous bottom okay so that is why it starts forming handle sort of formation and later on on the breakout of the highest point of the formation you can consider it as a cup with handle sort of formation and you can just double the target i am to say uh, if there is a bottom of let's say uh, 100 uh, uh, bottom of 10 rupees and if there is a highest point of the formation is at let's say 165 then you can deduct that 10 rupees or 15 rupees and you can add that 150 rupees into uh, 150 or 165 so you can get the levels of 300 uh, this stock has not even like uh, uh, crossed the level of uh, estimated target but also reached to 
new higher levels of 700. So we can see that after cutting the levels of 160, the stock has uh, doubled uh, and from that again it like uh, given more returns. So from double to double, that's the theory that that stock has shown. So it's a very classic formation and uh, most of the time I see that it gives better results. Now we will move to some continuation formation and uh, on which we discussed in the past but I just want to again share few things. What is the meaning of continuation formation? Continuation formation means uh, uh, in the past if stock is moving higher then it starts consolidating in a specific range and you can see here Reliance was somewhere around uh, 1500 levels after that it moved to the levels of 700, 600 but due to the announcement of uh, geo and all the stock had started consolidating between the range of uh, 600 on the higher side and uh, 350, 400 on the downside. So in this particular range the stock has been almost 7-8 years and uh, you can uh, clearly notice that uh, whenever there was like uptick in the stock uh, from 2009 to 2017, 16, it got arrested at 550, 600 area and it reversed back to the uh, higher support line. So this particular rising trend line clearly indicates that there was demand for the stock but it was at specific level, it was at gradual level. It was not like um, I mean to say the buyer was not in hurry. So he was buying at specific level but always whenever there was a fall we saw that bottom was higher than the previous bottom but the highest point was completely flat. So market has the stock has never broken the level of 600 in last uh, between the period of 2009 and 2017 but later on on the dismissal of this particular level we saw sharp run up in the stock and we saw from there almost uh, ambitious stock doubled from those levels. So it's a classic formation of ascending triangle. Uh, again it's a pattern on monthly basis and uh, you can draw train lines and you can like uh, ride a particular train. So rectangle formation here we have considered the formation of Tata chemicals. Uh, Tata Chemical was uh, in the range of 650 and 780, 770. Whenever there was like the levels of 770, 780, there was some positive news flow for the stock, but it has never uh, shown uh, follow up buying close to 770, 780 areas. Number of times we also stuck and we failed uh, whenever like we have given buy call close to 750, 780 areas with a view that it will. Uh, cross the upward uh, trajectory of this particular formation. Why? Because we were of the view that it's a continuation formation. So it will break on the higher side, but it is not necessary always, all the time. And that is why whenever there is such type of formations, we have to consider all aspects. Like it may be even triple top sort of formation. And if there is a triple top sort of formation, then my stop loss should be in place. And that is why like, uh, whenever like we have taken call we always ask our clients to keep strict stop loss because it may be even triple top sort of formation but yes later on clearly the stock has failed to trade higher and eventually it has broken its lower boundary. Uh, in the year 2019 uh, between January uh, something uh, in the later part of the January and we saw steep decline in the stock. So it's a classic pattern of rectangle formation where we see uh, buying and selling at specific level. flag and pennant or price channels it's a very common pattern but if these patterns are on higher time frames on monthly or on weekly then they gives you better results so always try to find out or try to uh, like uh, analyze long term charts with a view to uh, find any such uh, patterns So it's again a uh, formation of uh, double drop, double bottom and the similar sort of result that we can see. Uh, so this is how the, the, uh, it was like all on the 
chart patterns and uh, chart patterns uh, how they like uh, gets form and what are the things that we have to follow while uh, using these patterns on that we discussed now we will move to data points of nifty which is very very important in our previous uh, webinar which we conducted on 16th of uh, uh, january that time also the nifty was around 10900 uh, today when we are like conducting uh, this webinar on chart patterns after almost a month uh, nifty is at same levels even after hitting 11100 and 10580 on the downside market again recovered back and it is trading at the same levels so markets are at same levels in the past also when there was like uh, we discussed on data points the data was completely showing mixed activity or neutral activity and in today's data also the data are clearly indicating us that we are into we are still into the same uh, uh, we we also in today's data also we have same data points like india vix is around 1565 Uh, which is mild bearish because we are very uh, means we are little closer to the uh, uh, lowest reading of india vix and we have to keep in mind that if we are moving towards 13 or 14 levels then that means markets may come under some selling pressure that is the overall view that we follow uh, it was around 17 1675 when we discussed in the previous uh, our uh, webinar that time nifty was around 10900 but after hitting the levels of uh, 10000 11150 that time vix was around 15 1525 pcr was around 1.60 today it is at 1.25 but that time it was very clearly over bought sort of formation uh, so pcr uh, in today's day it is around 1.2025 which is on the again neutral side or uh, daily rsi Uh, which is at uh, 55 again it is uh, indicating uh, uh, sideways activity for uh, nifty uh, indian rupee uh, was at uh, 70.85 when it closed today uh, it was around 7450 so it is positive but at the same time it is not good for exporters so that may be the concern uh, in the short term for all these exporters Uh, we are expecting uh, currency to move towards 70 to 50 maybe in the later part of the year but currently even after hitting 71 80 85 levels it failed to sustain over there and now again it is like appreciating to 70.80 85 levels which is positive for indian equities but not good not positive for uh, exporters which is uh, very crucial at this time because between the period of 2003 and 2008 2009 uh, like export was around 30 40% of our total um, uh, overall uh, gdp but uh, this time exports are very down and uh, some weakness in rupees must to help exporters uh, crude is around uh, 61.50 which is again neutral and world markets are completely mixed because few of them are trading higher few of them are down but by and large us markets recovered very well from their lows uh, they have absorbed lot of selling pressure that the overall chart that we can see but again we feel that it's a corrective pattern and if that corrective pattern is there then that means one more decline is not ruled out even for our markets uh, which is uh, uh, like uh, forming some head and shoulder sort of formation on weekly and monthly basis there also we have a target of 11000 uh, 200 or 11300 maximum on the higher side very crucial levels are 11200 because unless and until the market is not crossing this levels we are going to remain under the pressure of head and shoulder at the top of the formation so in the in the month of uh, january 2018 uh, we can clearly see uh, on the chart that uh, the nifty was around 11170 levels from there we saw decline one more rise to 11800 Uh, which was head for the formation and uh, in in last few days uh, we saw the levels of 11120 which was uh, i can say a right shoulder uh, for the market so because of this uh, markets are uh, quite cautious market participants are cautious uh, along with the uh, select trend of us markets we may see some rise in the market 
but uh, we have to be cautious while adding long position at higher levels so if you are trading long then you have to be very very careful while initiating long positions and we have to keep stop losses uh, in place or at specific levels so that's the overall view on um, nifty and uh, we discussed on chart patterns now we will uh, move on a uh, question and answers before that i just want to add few things that uh, uh, from kotak we have started nifty weekly trade and for nifty weekly trade uh, uh, the strategy is that we will come out with some uh, we will come out with uh, trade on weekly basis i mean to say every on uh, we will come out with one specific trade on uh, every monday uh, on the option segment uh, which will have validity till uh, thursday because now it's a weekly strategy that weekly uh, expiry that started on nifty so we have to uh, initiate long positions or short positions on the option segment uh, on monday with specific stop loss and we are actively we are going to uh, track this strategy actively during the week if we see any specific uh, like reversal or change in our opinion we will come out with that trade we will initiate the uh, trade on the other side that's the overall view that we we are going to keep but we are going to start this product so uh, you can like register yourself with uh, kotak and you can start enjoying this uh, uh, strategies which we give we every day give uh, one strategy on intraday basis for nifty which is again specifically on option segment because there the loss is very limited at the same time the participants are increasing on the option segment so there the risk is low and if you trade on regular basis without taking any like a very long term call i think that actually uh, gives uh, more profit to trader that's my overall experience so either you can take positional trade of maximum 2 or 3 days 5 days but not more than that or you can trade with the uh, trend of that particular uh, uh, instrument and on daily basis if you trade on intraday basis i think that gives a uh, better results uh, if you follow the follow that particular strategy for a particular period okay so now i will move on the question and answers and uh, there are like number of questions number of uh, our participants they are waiting for uh okay so yeah the very first question is from uh, priyank pandey and he is asking about rec uh, in the short term see rec is now more depending on uh, the edf that um, uh, government has launched so that is why the uh, overall trading pattern of rec is completely uh, uh, misleading so it is better to stay away for the time being but yes by and large we feel that uh, rec is now consolidating and unless and until the stock is not closing above 130 it is going to remain in a range of 130 on the higher side and uh, 110 105 on the down side So yeah, uh, Johnny Joseph is asking about what is Doji pattern and see on Doji patterns. See Doji is what is nothing but it's a, a star sort of formation where opening and closing of the market is at almost same levels. Uh, either it is with long shadow or it is with very uh, uh, small shadows. But if there is a small shadow, a shadow means a very uh, uh, lesser highest high and uh, lower low for that particular day. so if there is a very narrow range sort of formation uh, and if closing and opening of that particular day is very nearby then we can consider that particular formation as doji formation we saw i think uh, the same formation some 2 3 days back when the market was around 11180 levels it was with long shadow but uh, means i want to say on intraday basis we saw the levels of 11120 But while closing again, it closed at eleven thousand uh, uh, sort of levels, and later on we saw some decline in the market. So whenever there is a doji doji sort of formation, 
it clearly sh uh, shows or it suggests that that the market is taking pause and if there is a pause uh, to the previous uh, trend i mean to say if there is a rising trend and if there is a pause then you can expect u turn in that particular instrument or stock so that is where doji patterns are very very important i hope uh, joseph must have understood this and you can go through with uh, like our kotak website where we have given a uh, uh, glossary about uh, the chart patterns and uh, uh, number of oscillators so mr githin is asking about ujjivan and it's a very interesting formation uh, that we are uh, uh, witnessing uh, on weekly as well as on daily charts for ujjivan for ujjivan the pattern is very clearly uh, suggesting us that it is into rising trend but it is going up with some correction and uh, whenever there is a correction uh, it falls to its important support area based on technicals uh, if you follow uh, retracements then you must have seen that in the near term when there was a decline in the stock the stock has corrected to the 40% 38.2% of its entire up move and after hitting those levels again it recovered back so we are of the view that technically uh, the stock is following to technical levels and uh, if you follow technicals uh, properly i am to say the strategies which we discussed uh, uh, in the uh, uh, in our previous webinars if you follow those strategies then i am very much sure that you can find out like few uh, uh, like patterns and uh, supports uh, important support areas for uh, this particular stock and you can trade accordingly uh, mr deshpande uh, is asking about uh, uh, sun pharma chart pattern what is the outlook and there are like people who are like a number of participants and our clients they are asking about sun pharma because it was like uh, 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 very difficult uh, uh, for the uh, overall uh, uh, it was difficult uh, time for the uh, company sun pharma because of some news flow and all we saw a steep decline in the stock from 670 to almost uh, 390 370 sort of levels now again it is reversing back but today the company is going to announce its number uh the company has very clearly given a uh, lot of clarifications about whatever the news flow was there uh, in the market and basically we are of the view that uh, there was huge volume close to uh, 390 380 area so till the stock is above this particular levels we are not expecting stock to fall down so easily but at the same time we need to see that how like company uh, faces all these litigations and how they come out of that which is which is very important so it is better to uh, take trade on the option segment because there the risk is very low uh, like i just want to throw light on the formation of tata motors which was uh, indicating us that it is into sideways pattern and after hitting major lows uh, we were of the view that now uh, 150 should act as a very good support for it but on the announcement of the result and after the result uh, we saw a sharp decline in the stock because of some uh, negative development on the uh, result front but eventually like on that day on the uh, next day of result we saw the levels of 130 which was highly unexpected but yeah it it moved to those levels now again it is trading about 150 but eventually on that day the stock was down by some 27% and that is why we recommended our clients whenever like we recommend we uh, in such type of stocks we tries to recommend on the option segment so that risk remains in control but yes based on its daily pattern i am of the view that the stock is diverging positively which is positive for it and today's result will decide the next course of action uh, so today's con call results all will help stock to move higher technically i am of the view that the stock is ready to move towards 455 457 and we'll see that how like this result uh, uh, like uh, gets pans out that is very important but specifically if if i like just go through with the chart pattern then i'm of the view that the stock is diverging positively and uh, like after cutting a supply line we can expect upward activity in the stock yeah so rup singh is asking about apollo hospital and yes there are like number of queries on which uh, people are like asking about that what is happening in apollo hospital because yesterday there was a steep decline in the stock the stock was uh, like uh, 
into uh, steep sell off it was mainly because of uh, some news flow and uh, because of this um, uh, the stock fell close to 17 18% in yesterday's trading session but uh, while looking at its uh, daily as well as weekly pattern i am of the view that the stock has formed lower top uh, sort of formation and which is negative for the stock uh, if there is a negative news flow and if the stock is following to negative formation because lower top or double top is always a bearish pattern for the for any stock so i am of the view that if there is any uh, 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 retracement or pullback in the near term then we should look for exiting out of out of this particular stock kaustubh uh, kaustubh is asking about uh, how metals uh, stocks are performing uh, how they are going to perform whether they are they are bottoming out or not so for kaustubh uh, uh, like i can say that um, metal stocks are certainly at their important support areas if you go through with its uh, monthly pattern and long term charts you will come to know that jsw steel tata steel they have fallen to almost 50% of their entire up move and they are reversing back in today's date tata steel was up jsw steel was up jindal steel and power was also very close to its previous low and from there we saw some recovery but we are of the view that we should stay away from jindal steel and power because the stock is still the company is still under a lot of dead burden and in past few days we saw major sell off in all dead burden company so it is better to stay away from jindal steel and power for the time being even though there is some reversal or uh, positive formation on daily basis but yes for jsw steel for tata steel our view is that we should look for adding some long position if there is any decline along with this you just go through with kaustub uh, just go through with uh, uh, chart pattern of uh, 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 shanghai index which is a uh, which is uh, the index of uh, china so shanghai index is diverging positively uh, bovespa which is index of brazil and which is which uh, like there are in which number of commodity stocks are listed uh, there also we are seeing good amount of uh, uh, bullish trend uh, i think bovespa is trading at its all time highest level which is positive for all these commodities and even uh, the iron ore prices they also recovered from their low so basically this uh, particular news flow is positive for all steel companies and that is why we are seeing some activity in steel companies for vedanta it is under some news flow for hindalco today company has announced its number and it is very close to its important support area of 190 195 so i am not expecting hindalco to fall below 190 so easily at the same time if there is any development on the uh, uh, global front then we can expect activity in hindalco but currently based on technicals we are specifically uh bullish on daily basis in the short term on jsw steel and tata steel so mr rakesh giri is asking about uh, uh what is the probable major of tweezer tops and all see for this you can go through with the uh, website of kodak securities because we have covered a number of uh, Uh, such patterns uh, in grocery section uh, but my personal view is that tixi whenever there is any specific consolidation you can consider the height of that consolidation or the range of that consolidation as the target uh, and you can uh, use that particular height uh, to add or to subtract from support or resistance so that will give you the target on the upside or downside that's easy but if you can follow let's say rsi or msd that gives you more uh, uh, a better edge uh, to understand that uh, how this pattern can get span out so there is one more question uh, from uh, mr geetesh about state bank of india uh, which is down and uh, currently trading at 270 75 levels Uh, in the past also we discussed that the stock was uh, the stock is in the is in rectangle uh, consolidation 
it is uh, finding lot of resistance close to 300 305 um, and whenever there is like a uh, decline towards 265 or 270 area it comes back so today it was around 275 levels uh, if there is a positional view then one should look for accumulating the stock between 275 and 265 with the final stop loss below 260 and again we can expect rebound in the near term but it's a buy with a positional view and in this particular range of 275 and 265 uh, in the short term the stock is down so it is better to buy if there is any decline you can buy at current levels but buy more try to buy in tranches for reliance and for Infosys the view is uh, that see they have reached to their extreme levels uh, reliance was very close to its previous high of 1320 1330 levels from there again it is reversing back uh, so till the stock is not crossing 1330 1340 levels the stock is going to remain under pressure close to or between 1300 and 1330 on the higher side but for uh, reliance industries but for infosys See, Infosys is into new territory, it is into all-time highs, uh, but yes, due to over-retracement in the short term, we are seeing some correction. Uh, for those who are like short-term traders, our advice is to take some short calls if there is any bounce back in the near term. And those who are like uh, keeping long-term view, they should look for adding this stock at important support areas. The stock is having very good support close to 745 and 690 on the downside. So if there is a long term view then close to 700 levels we should look for adding this stock to our portfolio. With a trading perspective we are not expecting stock to trade above 775 so easily. On the downside 720-25 is going to act as a very good support for it. Finally for the auto space where like people have a lot of interest and number of uh, participants have stuck at higher levels especially Maruti. Uh, Hero Motors, Escorts and Aishar. Uh, for Maruti, our view is that the stock has uh, uh, fallen to its extreme level. Now it is going to spend considerable time between the range of 7500 on the higher side, 67, 6800 on the downside. The reason is because again if you go through with its fundamental reasons then crude is quite at 60, 61 levels. Currency is at 70, half 71 levels, which is positive for it. And um, uh, 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 petrol prices are also at its uh, uh, stable level. So all these patterns are, uh, uh, these uh, uh, news flows are positive for it because of which the stock is not falling. But at the same time, because of the uh, monthly pressure, I mean to say the monthly numbers which are coming they are not encouraging and that is why the stock is like under pressure whenever there is a jump or rise in the near term but for hero motors for escorts i think again we have to see that how they form any specific formations because we saw some uh, steep decline or steep rise and after that later on we again seeing some correction in the stock so broadly we are of the view that uh, these two stocks are forming triangle sort of formation in which they they fall to their extreme supports and they move to their extreme uh, resistance levels and that is how like they forms any specific formation so these two stocks are in this triangle formation so which will take time so if there is any decline close to uh, 2700 levels then we should look for adding hero motors to our portfolio with a final stop loss below 2600 and on the higher side um, if there is any um, uh, uh, throwback towards uh, 30 uh, 3100 levels then we should look for taking some contra view of going short with the final stop loss at 3200. So that's all I think uh, I have covered a uh, number of questions and uh, uh, we always like the way you respond and the way you respond uh, to our webinar and the way you ask questions uh, just go through with our uh, uh, YouTube videos and there you try to subscribe because that will give you better edge to understand to practice uh, this particular formations again and again i'm very much sure that uh, today's webinar will also help you a lot thank you very much and have a lovely evening to all of you